past them. Nope. No? Hey boys! What's going on? We're ready to rumble. Are we ready to catch some fish? I am. Sir, okay. well, you're not going to catch any of your hair's too short. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah, ready. well, you know, you know he's it not going to so. catch any fish. He cut his hair. <laughs> hey man, good to see How you. Are you? Good, good to see you. And you. And you. Okay, yeah. Good to be seen. <laughs> you're at. Uh, How you doing? Uh, good. Well, I'm ready to catch some fish. I don't know about you. Yeah. Well, all the reports is the lower half of the river is just full of steelhead. How it's exciting shallow. is that? Yeah. It's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just drove up. We, we already oh, got our licenses. That, that's right. You've got yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. All right. We stopped at Whitaker's. They said the river's full of fish. Down here. They said everywhere. Not up top. Well, Melinda, Melinda, had a good day Melinda says Melinda not so said there's no fish, fish up there. No fish at all? No. Well, the occasions. Well, the salmon. There's a uh, natural salmon. Well, they're not after salmon. So we're not going back. Have you guys been following yeah. salmon crazy? No. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why. What is that, a new toy? Uh, no, it's just a phone. So I'm taking a little video. Oh, okay. I just don't, I don't have the big guns out now, but I wanted to you, get the... You take uh, a video with the phone. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. 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 I have a joke. <clears throat> All right. Oh, fantastic. But maybe I already said this joke. You might have. Was it last year's fish total that you had? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Those are damn fight words. That's right. The gauntlet has been dropped. He's still going to say that he's going to allow fish every <clears throat> He may. Yeah. I think he just believes that he's going to Did I tell you a joke around. about the two old guys there in their 80s? <clears throat> oh, jeez. This Fuck. will be my third go around on that one. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, You've heard my joke. Maybe it's your fourth or fifth. I don't um, think I've heard this one. They decide that they're going to go out. They're going to have a good time. So they go to this whorehouse. And they walk in. And the place is really very, very busy. And the madam comes up to them, and, you know, she introduces herself to them, and she realizes that all the rooms are taken. So she goes up to one of the women working there, and she goes, put them up in the rooms with the blow-up dolls. They're so old, they won't know the difference. <laughs> So they go up and they, they have a good time and they, they walk out of the place and they're walking down the street and uh, one of the guys says to the other, you know, I think they put me in the room with this dead person. I mean, she didn't breathe, she didn't moan, she didn't, she was like, she didn't move. I think she was dead. The other guy goes, well, I think they put me in the room with a witch. And he goes, what do you mean? And he goes, I don't know. I was getting hot and heavy. I bit her neck. She, she farted and blew out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> no, flew out the window. Well, I got what you said. Flew out. Flew out. You know. <laughs> we can imagine. Thank you. Okay. Holy sh You up for a lengthy one? Um, hey. Yeah. Okay. Of course. It was at the University of Wisconsin, I think. And there were three clergymen. There's a cheese joke? Huh? I told you this one. <laughs> is it cheesy? There's no cheese involved. In Wisconsin? Is that a... Is it... I'm sorry. I thought that maybe was a caution that you were about to cut the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he doesn't, he doesn't warn people anymore. Because <laughs> he's, he's well, you know... He's retired. older, and he's retired, and he's more, he's more mature. refined, and more mature. And relaxed. Yeah. So he just kind of lets those just SBDs lets it go. <laughs> go into the atmosphere that right. people kill over as he walks by, because they follow you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, you probably know that. Well, he's laughing like he knows it, too. I'm the guru. All right, so you tell me everything I know. Three clergymen. <laughs> Yeah.
Jail headers awake. There are fish to be caught. There are foes to fight. These are mighty fish. Are you up to the game, steelheaders? Awake now. To the river we go. <laughs> Sleeping place. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm beat. I'm sorry too. Dinner. Dinner. Oh. Nice hat. Let's <laughs> <laughs> come with a free bowl of soup. Oh my god, I'm so beat. It's, uh... All right, so here we are. Yep. What time is it? What time did we get up? Well, late. I didn't. I didn't give you a call till ten before five this morning. I know that's so late. Sorry. John. What? Feeling like ten pounds of awesome in a twenty-pound bag? Uh, <laughs> I'm sleeping. Don't wake me up. What you got there? A coffee. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna knock him dead today? Uh, I'm not making any predictions. Wow, it's, it's a different kind of day. Yeah, it different is. conditions. That's but true. What? So with the water's this is up. my favorite water temperature. So you think I've been magnificent so far this week? Where do you see me today? All right. As long as I don't go swimming, I'll be all set. Awesome. No swimming. I I did not anticipate. I didn't occur to me at all that there was going to be rising water level, and I left a box of heavier weights at home to uh, light myself yes. up by four hours. But, as has been pointed out, it's probably an impending storm. Seems like the water is almost double what it was. Well, it's more than double. It was 185 mm -hmm. at the gauge, and today these fellas tell us they just checked the official water line, and it's 900 CFS instead of 185. Jeez. So, that's a huge difference. That's a major difference. Yeah. What's going to be a problem is the leaves. With 900 CFS, all the leaves that were on shore. Well, you know, yesterday now afternoon the, water, the leaves were so. more of a problem than before. I don't know why. And well, you know, I'm more yeah. comfortable when you're reeling in a leaf because you because it's you know these fish are awful tough. We don't want to get you worn out. <laughs> How are you describing your hair now? Is a silver like a steelhead? Like a steelhead. That's right. Steelhead Dawn. Yeah. Steelhead Dawn Muller. Boy, that's a good name, Dan. Yeah. It's more dignified than what he deserves, but... <laughs> <laughs> and the bullshit starts, folks. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it's never ended. So. That's, that's right, the, yeah. the bullshit continues. Indeed. Oh. What are you doing? Hello. I can see the light through my eyelids. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it is a whole different ball game to this play. Killing me right now. <laughs> Brilliant. It's good to be Don Muller. Don Muller retired. Sounds good, doesn't it? How many days now? Today is my 56th day. We're going to need about eight ounces of weight. I think there might be a hatch today. What do you think? A brown trout hatch? Yeah. I think he had four of them yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hobbs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I do what I can. Wake up, fishes. <laughs> off. If I can't fish, I'm gonna sleep. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> That's a good plan, actually.
like anything was possible Hit cruise control And rub my eyes The last three days And the rain was unstoppable It was always cold No sunshine Just, uh, I wanted to say, um, well, first I wanted to start off by saying it was a great, you know, it was a really great trip, and uh, um, we had a great time. And uh, the other guys uh, were supposed to be here, but um, for some reason they are, they're not here. Anyway, um, you're probably wondering, you know, about this, and uh, so, you know, I, I want to start by saying, we love you very much, but um, you got a problem, and um, we're here to support you. We think you need to get help. Um, this top rod thing is just—I uh, think it's getting out of control. I mean, you know, you don't—you don't have to be top rod every day. I mean. You want to say anything? Hey, it wasn't my invention. I think Michael in invented the term. I think that I think the British a couple times. Because he beat me once. And, uh, <laughs> and, and then it was game on? Then it's, it's, it's he invented a, the term top rod. It's a sport to me. But you're the one if that Michael, <clears throat> if Michael awesome. caught up to me today just and he tied me, I, we'd still be there fishing. <laughs> I, would, I would break the damn record and still be top rod. 
He'd be struggling to catch one in the dark. What about, um, you know, what about sharing Top Rod? How do you feel about that? Even though I told him I would be happy if he tied me so we could share the honor, but that was bullshit. <laughs> So that's how it is, huh? All right, then. I see how you are. We can play it that way. It's game on. Game on, buddy. Yeah.